guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a quick, easy, back to school look that's using all cruelty free products. So it's 100% cruelty free and most of the products are organic and natural. I wish that all makeup companies were cruelty free and I try to stick to mostly cruelty free products myself. So I thought that this would be a great video to do in case you wanted to use all cruelty free products when you're doing your makeup for school. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so starting off, you'll want a clean face. So I like to clean my face at night using the oil cleansing method. I feel like that really helps to remove any dirt or grime or makeup or anything. Just it pulls it all out of your skin so you don't have to go to bed with anything that's going to break you out in the morning. And when I do wake up in the morning, instead of washing my face again or using some kind of harsh cleanser, I'll just rinse my face with water because that keeps my skin balanced throughout the day. And then I'll go in and I'll moisturize with the Josie Marin Pure Argan Oil. And this is great too because it's going to keep your skin balanced and it's going to keep the oil production at bay because it's telling your skin there's already oil there and you don't have to overproduce any. So that's going to also help keep acne away. It's super lightweight. It's not excessively greasy or oily, so you're not going to have to worry about that. But it's just a really, really great moisturizer. That's what I use today. And now we're going to move on to brows. Since we are going for a back to school look, I want to just use something quick and easy that's going to take you not a lot of time. So Boy Brow by Glossier is really good for that. They have one blonde, brown, black, and clear. But since I have a little bit of sparsity in my eyebrows right now, I'm gonna go for brown. It's just really nice. And it just deposits a little bit of color, which is great. Especially going back to school. You don't need super heavy brows. Like that Instagram brow trend is just not necessary when you're going to school. Um, or at all. This just helps to fill in the brows a little bit. And I like to brush them up and out. I feel like that is the most natural looking. So that's the eyebrows on. Super quick, just like a 30 seconds or less just filling in the brows and then next we'll go on to foundation so when it comes to foundation you don't want to have to worry about if it's looking cakey or if it's coming off your face and melting away or anything of that nature a really great one that i love is the face atelier ultra foundation so i like to give it a good shake i'm wearing number three i believe it's called wheat i just put a little bit on my hand like not even a full pump and then I'll dip into it and then I'll take my damp beauty blender and just press it in. It helps with redness coverage, um, it helps with darkness under the eyes. And if you don't have a lot, honestly, you don't need concealer because the foundation will just cover it anyways. It, you can share it out. You can make it fuller coverage if you feel like you need that. It just, it's a really amazing foundation. And I believe you can get it on QVC. I think they have like a deal now on QVC, which is pretty awesome. Um, or Face Atelier's website. And their website's really cool because you can order samples. Of, they're like a dollar each of um, any of the colors or the adjusters if you feel like you need something a little extra. Um, but they have a really wide range of foundation colors and they also offer a more sheer line too if you want less coverage. You also always want to bring it down onto your neck to blend it. Okay, so there's foundation and it gives you a really nice natural coverage. You can build it up more if you want to, like I said, or you can keep it more sheer. It's just a really beautiful finish. It makes your skin just look like skin 
and I love that. And that foundation really should cover up any spots that you need it to, but if you do feel like you need a little bit more coverage, this concealer is really great. It's cruelty free, it's organic, it's natural, and there's no bad ingredients in it. This is by Vapor Organic Beauty, and this is the Illusionist Concealer. I'm using number 15, and I just put a little bit under my eyes where the darkness is, and then I blend that in with the Damp Beauty Blender again. But this is such a great concealer. Um, I'd say it's comparable to the NARS Creamy Concealer, but it's a cruelty-free version. So after my foundation and concealer is done, then I like to set it just to make sure that everything stays rather neutral throughout the day. It'll start off a little bit more matte and then as the day goes on I'll get a little bit more glowy, but it's not like I'm oily or shiny. It's just like a natural glow rather than being like completely matte. So what I like to use is the RMS Beauty Unpowder. They have a translucent version and then a tinted one. So today I'm using the tinted unpowder and this is in shade one. But I like to just take a little bit on my brush and then press it into the skin. And I like to stick to forehead, nose, chin, and then under my eyes, just to keep that area set most. And then I'll work on getting the out, outer rim of my face. And I always like to powder over my eyelids as well and my eyelashes, because that'll help give mascara something to stick to. Okay, so I'm all set, um, my makeup set, but do you see how it mattified that just a little bit? The RMS powder, it's really great because it doesn't mattify you too much to where you just look flat. It just minimizes any shine that you have, and it helps to absorb oil throughout the day. So next after that, I would normally put bronzer on, but you definitely don't have to wear bronzer. This is supposed to be a quick makeup, you know, so instead of doing bronzer, let's just do a little bit of a cheek color. I really love these Glossier Cloud Paints because they're super quick and easy to use. This one's called Puff. This will give you that really baby pink look and a little bit of these cloud paints goes a long way. So I feel like they're definitely worth the investment if you enjoy blushes because this is gonna last you forever. So what I like to do is I just take a little bit on my finger, smile, and then blend it in and it just gives you a really nice natural flush because you've taken the color out of your skin once you put foundation and concealer on and then you can just go over it with the beauty blender just to blend it and make sure everything is nice and even now we'll go on the other side okay so blush is on and that just gives you like a really light flush sort of like a doll it's like a it reminds me of like a baby doll color. It's really nice and very natural and quick because you saw it was just like me tapping it, tap, 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 and then using a beauty blender just to go over it. But honestly, you don't even have to do that because it just blends nicely into your skin. So if you feel like wearing eyeshadow, but just something that looks natural, you can go in with a bronzer. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. Just take a little bit on a fluffy brush. This is a MAC 224. And you just wanna go right where the crease of your eyelid is, just to provide a little bit of definition here, but it's nothing too crazy. It'll just give you a little extra awake look. And it's good to do this while your eyes are open too, because it helps to just see where exactly it needs to go. This is literally just fitting right around my eyeball. So to add just a little bit something extra, um, besides doing a little bit of definition in the crease, I'll take a highlight shade. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. And it's just like a beautiful natural color. Um, I'll take a little bit on that same brush. Don't need a lot of tools, you know? And I'll just run that right over my eyelid and in my inner corner. It just helps to open up your eyes and make you look a little bit more awake. I know how tiring school can be. And then what you can also do is take this luminous light and just add just the tiniest amount of highlight. So it just looks really nice and natural. And then down the bridge of your nose and right here. 
and that is just super super natural looking it's not going to get weird during the day so you don't have to even worry about it and then um from here you can either apply some eyeliner on the upper waterline if you feel like it so if you don't feel like applying eyeliner then you can go ahead and just curl your eyelashes that will open up your eyes a little bit more make you look again more awake and ready for the day okay now that my lashes are curled i'm going to be applying the hourglass caution mascara still can't get enough of it this is so great it's cruelty free holds a curl really well it keeps your lashes looking really long and thick um, until you take it off it says it has a 24 hour wear which is crazy but you know um, I guess if you're up for 24 hours studying then that would be good Okay, so one coat of mascara is on, and that would be great for everyday wear, but I like to amp up my eyelashes a little bit more, just to make them look thicker and longer. So I'm going in for a second coat. Okay, so mascara is done, and then all I would really do for lips is just a chapstick. This is Moroccan Magic Chapstick, and this is made with argan oil and essential oils, so it's really great. It's all natural, it's all organic, it's cruelty free, and it also provides aromatherapy. So this is a great one, it's lavender and vanilla. It's really nice too because the lavender helps to provide the like calming aromatherapy so, you know if you get nervous at school it would be nice to just you know put it on take a deep breath and calm yourself down okay so that's it for my back to school look just something nice and easy and really quick to do before going to school or you know if you're in the car or on the bus on the way to school just super quick super easy and it's really nice and fresh and it'll keep you nice and fresh all day long if you do find that you get a little bit shiny or oily throughout the day these beauty blender blotterazzis are really good it's basically just like a thin beauty blender and you can dampen it with like a water mist or something like that or you can just go in and press it around on your skin in the spots where you feel like you're shiny otherwise those rice papers from like sally's beauty supply are really great too i hope you enjoyed this look if you did please give this video a like and subscribe and i think you should also hit the notifications button which is the little bell because that'll notify you whenever i post a new video and if you have any questions or comments or concerns or videos you would like me to do please comment down below and let me know and i'll see you guys in my next one bye